There it is. It's not moving like it was. Okay, now it's time to add the big boy um, code. This is the code to make it actually do stuff. So I'm just going to click right here. I'm going to put two forward slashes, and I'm just going to type home button code, and then just enter. And basically what that is, is um, it's not coding. It's just you, when you put two forward slashes, you can type whatever you want to make it more organized so you know what coding is the home button coding, and you know what coding is any other button coding. And now I'm just going to type home etn. That is the instance name that we made for the home button, remember? Dot add event with a capital E, listener with a capital L, open parenthesis, mouse with a capital M, event with a capital E, dot click, all capitalized, comma, space. Now what you're going to want to type is btn1, close um, parenthesis, semicolon, enter. Now what you're going to say is function space btn1 open parenthesis. Now what you're going to want to say is event colon mouse with a capital M event with a capital E close parenthesis colon the word void open curly bracket and to return twice closing curly bracket and press the up arrow key. Now this is the part where we tell it what to do to go to and play a certain frame, to go to and stop at a certain frame, or to go to a specific website. What I'm going to say is go to end with a capital A, stop with a capital S, open parenthesis to close parenthesis and semicolon. Basically what this is saying is go to and stop on frame number two. And frame number two is the frame that we have the home page, remember? And now we are done with the home button code. So when we go to control test movie, and we click on the home button right here, it goes to the home page layer, but the anim and site buttons still don't do anything. So let's add the code for them. Enter turn twice. Um, two forward slashes. Now we're going to say is anim button code. Now we're going to say is Anim btn, that's the instance name we gave it, dot add, event, listener, open mouse, event, dot click, comma, btn2. Now it's btn2, the other one was btn1, this one's btn2, close parenthesis, semicolon, return, we want to say it's function, btn2, parenthesis, event, dot mouse, event, close parenthesis, Colon, void, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, up arrow key. Now what we're going to say is go to and with the capital A, play with the capital P, open parenthesis, three, close parenthesis, and semicolon. Basically what this is saying now is when you click the anim button, the flash is going to go to and play frame three. So it's not going to go to frame three and stop there going to play the rest of the frames and which that's the anims the animation that we made remember the little thing the little flare going up now that we've done that now it's time for the site coding so put two forward slashes site button code now do the same process site btn dot add event listener open parenthesis mouse event dot click comma space btn3 this is the third button whoops btn3 close point 3 semicolon fun function btn3 event dot whoops this event colon mouse event up here I put event dot whoops I just noticed that thank goodness Make sure that you don't do any mistakes in your coding, because if you do, you're going to have to come back and check what you did, and that's just a pain. Mouse, event, close parenthesis, void, open curly bracket, return twice, um, close curly bracket, up arrow key. Now, this is the code that I was searching for for so long. I could not figure this code out. This is the code to make it go to the internet and play a certain... Um, um, a certain site. 
And this is the code that I was looking for for like an eternity. This is the code that when I found it, I was like, yes. So what you're going to say is this is the code. Navigate to, with the capital T, URL, all capitalized, open parenthesis. Now what you're going to say is, now what you're going to want to say is new space URL, all capitalized, request with capital um, with capital R. Now you're going to want to put another opening parenthesis, and now you're going to want to put a um, quotation mark. That's this little thing right here, the quotation mark. Now we're going to put the URL. So go to your internet. I'm going to go to Mozilla Firefox. Now I'm going to go to my YouTube page, and this is where I want to navigate it to, right here. So I'm going to say is I'm going to copy this. HTML code right here. I'm going to right click it and say copy. And that's where I want it to go to. So I'm going to come back to Flash. I'm just going to paste it right here. Paste. Now I'm going to put another co um, quotation mark right there. Make sure you do that. You need to do that. And two closing parentheses like this. Two of them, not just one, two, and then a semicolon. The reason why we put two is because look we put two opening parentheses so now we gotta make two closing parentheses and now we're done so now we now all we gotta do is go to the check mark the blue check mark and check this area, um, any errors nope no errors go close actions go to control test movie and it seems to work since there was no output so click on home goes to the home page click on anim plays our little animation Click on it again to keep on playing it. And click on site and go to your internet and it went to the site. Let me close all my internet explorers. Look down here. Flash is the only one open. There isn't anything open. Click on site and wait a while. And here it goes. It opens up. This is great. This is just great. We have successfully created um, a code for, whoops. A code to go to the internet. Thank you for watching. This was a video tutorial by MCB Digital. I, I hope that I helped you out a bunch. And if I did, subscribe right now. Click the subscribe button. If you have any tips for me, if you have any tips for me, comment and rate five stars. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.